Hello, Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Can you hear me? Hi, mister. How are you now? Hey, I can hear you. Nice. Hello. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm putting, I changed the, the, the earphone. So it was the earphone the problem? I don't know. I think so because now you do say they hear me. Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay. okay. I couldn't yes, uh, uh, I have a question. When when this could end? Let me see. I'm gonna tell you right now. Because Just I have made the I have I have made that the, the homework. I'm going to start doing it maybe on, on Friday. Let me tell you. So we started on the 25th. Yeah. We might finish on the 18th. Okay, so I have two weeks to do a home Do a platform one. No, it's on Friday. On a Thursday. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, but I'm, no, I'm going to start by my, by, a, a, by, by myself and do it for a, oh, okay. that, that platform. Oh, okay. So, I had... you see, because in classes, we, 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 we can do it or, or we can stop doing it. Okay, Eduardo, I am really sorry, but we lost you again. I can't hear you. Now? You see the problem? I'll be honest yeah. with you, Eduardo. You sound like you are in a room that has a big echo. You know, like a room that has a big yeah. echo. And yeah. when you talk, you're right. <laughs> it, that's, I, I don't know how to explain that. But when you talk, it sounds like the echo. Really strange because I hear you very well. Yes, but we don't know. We don't. Yeah, so no, hear you. <laughs> yeah, I no. understand that you can hear us very well, but it's it's very strange. We can't hear you. It was good at the beginning, but I don't know what happened. Yeah. What yeah. do you use? Do you use a laptop or do you use a, a desktop? A, a desktop. It's a desktop. It's a desktop. Yeah. Hmm. Because I hear you very well. You know how you sound like, um, okay, imagine imagine when you're in the bathroom taking a shower yeah. and then somebody knocks, Eduardo, vas a comer. Uh, ya voy porque soy... That sound, like through the door, that's how you sound. Yeah. <laughs> what can I do, Mr. But I, I don't I don't know why it's to be honest with you, I, I really don't know why because if you say that you can hear us fine, yeah, it's good, yeah. but somehow we cannot hear you. Yeah, hear you very well. Okay. Um hello class. Hi Kelly. Hi, hello, teacher. Hi, good evening, everybody. Hello, Guillermo. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. All right. Juana, welcome back. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So you were busy yesterday. Yes, very busy, teacher. Very busy. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, if it's possible, uh, can you help me with, I need to know uh, about the class yesterday. Um, sure. Please. Thank you, sir. 
Sure. Uh, Nas, what did we do yesterday? Do you remember? Yeah. What uh, did what did we do? We were studying about reporter speech. Mm -hmm. And some expression about the I don't know, the, maybe the type of personalities, right? Yeah. Yeah. About the type self. of person. Selfish? No, or I didn't hear you. No, the type of personalities, people, type of personalities on the phone. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. But you, you can actually see that on, on the um, on the platform. You can see the video. Okay. okay it's like, I you know, know, you know, those people that always say, oh, my God, I am. That they talk very loud and you can hear their conversation. So that's what we're doing. It's like the, what type of people they are. So to be honest with you, Juana, we didn't really do a lot of um, grammar yesterday. So you didn't okay. miss you didn't miss that much. Okay. Well, well for me. <laughs> yes, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so okay. today we'll do it. Okay. So welcome, uh, Laura, Kelly, Guillermo, what's up? Paraí and Eduardo. We still need more people, but that's okay. Maybe they'll join us later. Okay, um, let me share my screen with you. Okay, class, do you see my screen? Yes, yeah. teacher. Yeah, sure. I see that. Okay. So now it says at the end of this class, participants will uh, practice using the present perfect and the simple past. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just yes. for curiosity, what is the simple present? Uh, I'm sorry. What is present perfect? Uh, how, how eaten? Um, I have eaten, okay. Have I have seen, eaten. I have gone. Mm -hmm. It's the yes. action that don't finish in the, in the present. Okay, let me, uh, for example, have you had COVID? No, I haven't. No. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. Uh, I don't think I will ever get it, but I did get it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and we didn't know. We didn't know. But you know, you know what I really can recommend to you is I don't know if I told you that, but it's not only enough for you to take care of yourself, but it's what surrounds you. Mm. If you have people visiting you, if you, you know, because people ask me when I got COVID and what happened and where did you get infected? It's like, really? I, I don't know. Es como cuando Uno pierde la llave o oh, pierde algo. Perdí la llave. ¿A dónde? <laughs> you know, like, really? Si supiera, no, no, no la pierde. Mm -hmm. no, yes. That's how it is. Like, people always ask me, where did you get infected? I said, I don't know. I don't know because I don't go out. I only go to the supermarket. I think I got infected in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Because it's the only place. I work in my house. I don't go out at all, nothing. I just go to the supermarket. So in, I don't visit people and people don't visit me. So my guess is maybe it was the supermarket. Mm -hmm. I Maybe I touched something and then I touched my, my face. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. But going back to that present perfect is, I asked you, have you had COVID yet? And you said, no, good for you. But what is the definition of present perfect? An action that begin, began in the past, but it could be in the future. Continue in the in the present. In the present. Okay, yes, that would be or, it. Or maybe it, you don't mention the the specific time that the action happened. Yes. Yes, You're right. Present perfect is an action that started in the past and continues to the present. Okay. And probably will end in the future, of course. That's why okay. um, it's very important to say that. I have, for example, um, Yanira, where do you live? Um, here in San Salvador, I, I live in San Marcos. Oh yes, I remember. How long have you lived in San Marcos? Mm, four years. Okay, can you answer complete? I have lived. I have lived in San Marcos for four years. Good. I have lived in San Marcos for four years. So that means she started four years ago and she's still active. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's present yeah. perfect. Now, okay. simple past is this. Um, Juana, where you live in, in, Santa, in Tecla. Uh, Santa Tecla. And before yes. that? Um, carretera a los planes de renderos. I, oh. I had, I had, I have lived um i lived in, i i i lived i lived in colonia modelo carretera a los planes de renderos for approximately uh 15 uh let me see no uh, 19 years 19 years for 19 years okay good yes so she okay let's say los planes then what, I'm sorry, yes. what, what kilometer is the modelo? Uh, two and a half is in the beginning of the uh, carretera a los oh, planes de renderos. Okay. okay. I lived in La Bello San Juan, which is great. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh. It's beautiful, Bello San Juan. I, I remember I visited uh, some friends in that, in that, in, in Colonia, Bay, Colonia Bello San Juan. Yeah. That's where I lived before I got married. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, so the reason why we say this is because the action started in the past and finished in the past. So no oh, more. Yes. That is simple. Okay. So, simple uh, past. Yes, so Juana lived in, 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 la, in, in Los Planes. Car yeah, she lived in Los Planes for, for 19 years? 19, yes. Yes, teacher. That means that the action doesn't exist anymore. And um, for example, Yanira, she has lived in San Marcos for four years. That means that the action started in the past and continues and is still active. And you know, Yanira, uh, San Marcos is very close to where Juana and I lived. Yes. Yes, it's very close. Yes, it's good. But I don't. I when I come to to my house, I don't live don't mm. live anywhere because so I I I fear that that some places it could be dangerous. Okay. Mm, um, yes. I only come from my work to my house. Yeah. And do you live alone, or or do you live with a family? No, I I share I share the house with other. Or I don't know. Other people. Hey. Partners, partners. Co-workers. Co-workers. Uh -huh, we share the, the house. Okay, that's and, good. So you're not alone. And the payment. No, no. Okay. Uh, we share the, share the payment. 
We share the bills. The bills, the bills. Yeah, Janita, I have a question. Have you ever eaten chuco? Yes, by, I have. No, but by that I mean, lady, that's... by that lady in San Marcos, by um, in that traffic light by McDonald's, by that, she's very famous. No, I don't know. Where? <laughs> you know that that I Centro do, Comercial where the McDonald's is. Yeah, but el encuentro. Yes, yes, the yes. sound is not yeah. clear. El encuentro. The name is El Encuentro. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, so if I go like to the Maquilas and if I go in that street, they go straight and then there's a traffic light. Yes. And then to my right is El Encuentro then, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the okay, mall. But in that traffic light to my left there's a lady there's a, a company there i don't know the the gas and and then there's a lady there that she sells chuco but she's mm, very okay. very famous and that's the best chuco in el salvador <laughs> really mm. wow. oh, yeah. they, they have even made mm. in the news segments about her Mm -hmm. Go there. If you see and, if if when you see people eating chuco there, that's her. And it's very, very good. I used to go there frequently. She she sells chuco in the morning or in the afternoon? In the afternoon, like after two. Uh, okay. She's there. It's very good. She's been there like for 30 years, I think. So I recommend you in San Marcos, go there. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. So you, you heard that she has been there for 30 years. That's present perfect, right? She has she has been there. She has been there yes. for 30 oh, okay. years. 30 years. A long time. Yes. Okay. Um, do you see my screen? Yep. Yes, teacher. All right, yeah. let's see the lesson objective. So now Present perfect versus simple past. Okay. All right, let's hear it. I can't hear. I don't know why. Oh, you can't hear? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Stay and learn how to use present perfect versus simple past. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. The trainer has saved all the paintings. Use the simple past to report an event with a specific time reference. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. I started teaching her to paint last year. When is present perfect used? Present perfect is used when reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. The present perfect is also used for repeated actions in the past with no time reference. It is also used for actions or situations that began in the past and continue until now especially when for or since is used. When is simple past used? Simple past is used to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. So how long have you studied English for? Who was your first English teacher? Okay, so let's go back to so the situations here. that began in the past and continue. Okay, so it says present perfect. This this we already know. Uh, actions or situations that began in the past and continues to now. What about this in repeated action? Yes. What about this repeated actions in the past with no time reference? Yeah. yeah. For example, when you visited a specific place and you said I have been there 
two or three times. You're saying you have been yes. there, but not at a specific time. Yes. Have you ever been to Apaneca? Yes, I have. <laughs> or, I, or so it says repeated actions in the past with no time reference. Or we have reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. For example, yes, I have been to Apaneca. I'm saying that I have been to that event. I have been to that place, but I'm not being specific on the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the simple yes, pass. Especially when for or since is used. Let's do this. Um, for versus stands. What is the difference between for versus sense? For and I could hear some as well. For and for sense. And what is the difference? Mm. Mm. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yes. Okay, it's very simple. I, I will take Yanita's example. Uh, yeah. Yanita has lived in San Marcos for four years, correct? For um, la yes. cantidad, la cantidad, for four years. And if I say since, is the beginning. So Yanira has lived in San Marcos since 2018. Mm. Or 2017. 17, right, Janita? Yes, yeah, 17. Okay, good. So when I say since, it's the beginning. Guillermo, how long have you worked in, in Concentrics? I have been working there for three years. Yeah, three years. For three years? Okay, now give me an example using since. And I started working there since 2017. Since 2017, good. So that's the difference. Four is the amount of time and since is the beginning. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. All right. When is simple pass used? Simple past is used to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. So how long have you studied English for? Who was your first English teacher? So here the easy one is simple past because that's, that's an action in the past. So let's do the knowledge check. It says here, instructions, complete the news story, mm -hmm. complete the news story with the present perfect or past tense form or the verbs in parentheses. Just type the verb in brackets. No capital letter or period is needed. So a group of thieves blank the dragon's eye ruby from the grand Gallery. Gallery. Have stolen. Have stolen. I won't say stolen. Mm. Actually, both stolen. are correct. Both are correct, but let's yeah, stay with stolen. Yeah. Mm. Stolen. Past. Yeah. Simple past. Is there my only three options? Stolen. 
Okay, so let's do have stolen then. Last night at about 1 a.m., the alarm went off. Went, went off. Went um, off. Good. Yeah, that's not negotiable. Yes. Because it says last night. So right there, we know a simple past. Police blank to the building immediately. Have rushed. Rushed in the building. Simple past. Simple past. Ah, immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Ah, okay. Yeah, they rushed. But they, too late. They were. But they... But they were too late. Good. Mm -hmm. Right after learning of the robbery, the mayor... Mm -hmm. Set up. Uh, by after yeah. 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 Set. It's past, remember. He sat up. Only past. Set up. Yeah, he set up a telephone hotline for information about the theft. Number six, three people. So far, three people. three people blank so far, but the police are still looking for further information. But uh, have, have called. Yes, because it says so far. Number seven, they believe it. They believe it, it is prop what? They believe it is probable that the thieves left. Have left. Have left. Have left. Or left the city. Why you see for me two? for me is left. Yes. Because it's in the past. According to the three rules that we saw. Remember, present perfect is when you do when you do an action, and you're not being specific on the time. So yes, uh, they believe it is probable that the thieves have left the city. I would say have left, yes. but also this is correct too. Okay. Number eight, the the curator of the grand of the grand gallery. Blank, oh, a 50,000 reward for information leading to the capture of the thief. Offered. 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 Because it's an action that happens in the past. Uh, 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 the uh, for information leading to the capture of the thieves. Okay. But for information, mm -hmm. so they're still looking. So that could be present perfect too. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Number have offered. I knew this was past. Have offered. Have offered. Uh, about is, that one, the number five feature is not. The verb is no, you, said because the, the, the verb is said, said, said. Yeah, the, conjug the conjugation is set for the past and participle. Okay. Have one. Oh. Stole. Oh. Stole. Have gone. Maybe. Have gone. Have, Have gone. No, because but here is a time specific. Yeah, specific it's saying line. last Have night. Gone. Well, you know the platform. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's very special. Oh, yes, it's a quiz. <laughs> no, it's you a... see, you have <laughs> a tricky, <Come> tricky. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Last wow. night at about so 1 a.m., the alarm went off. With, I'm going to put has gone, but I know it's not correct. Went so, off. Went off. No. Teacher is is tall. E is in the first one is S T O L E. Yeah, no teacher. Yeah, I. E D. E D. Tall. No. Let me see. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. No, stole. it's uh, stall. It has to be stall. Let me check. It's still the store. Store? Yes. Difficult teacher. Yeah, number two, I don't know why it's wrong. I mean, it's the past of go went is the only possible. Gone? <laughs> or Oh no. This is not correct. Oh, no. no, actually yes. when it should be the right answer. Yeah, because it's mentioned in a specific time when the alarm went. Oh. Oh, I mean that you have to put the complete expression when of maybe. But is why the, the third person I because it's a group of thieves, it's blood. Went off. But yes. why do I have to put off, off because off is there already? Oh, come on, yeah. has a stolen. Could be has a stolen because it's plural. Yes, it's a group, yes. It's, it's not correct, it's has. a group yeah. of thieves. Yeah. Has uh, stolen. That's uh, not correct. A group is third. It's like a third a uh, group. Yes, but uh, it's yes, a, it has. Group, oh, yeah, group, I can see it now. It yeah, has, right. Yes, yes, it a has. Group has. A group has a group of thieves. It's a tricky. Okay. I, I don't like number two because the word we're looking for is went off is there already. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's out. But don't feel bad. I hate the platform. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it says present perfect versus present perfect continuous. So now we're going to use the ING. Yes, teacher. Is the following question the same as in the previous section? Listen carefully. How long have you been studying English? Use the present perfect continuous to describe temporary situations and actions that are not yet completed. The present perfect describes permanent situations and recently completed actions. A dog has been stealing all the attention. Temporary situation. I've always surfed with my dog. Permanent situation. Mai has been amazing visitors by painting for her supper. Not yet completed action. I've locked my keys in the car. Recently completed action. Use the present perfect with the passive or with stative verbs such as be, love, and have. He's always loved it. So it says use the present perfect continuous to describe temporary situations and actions that are not yet completed. A dog has been stealing all the attention. I've always suffered with my dog. Where's the uh, continuous here? Okay, permanent. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. 
present perfect versus present perfect continuous. When do we use the present perfect tense? We use the present perfect tense to talk about things where there is a connection between the past and the future. For example, he started writing books sometime in the past. So far, he has written 16 books. He may write more books. Let's go over some sentences. I have painted the living room blue. The focus is on the result. The activity is finished and we can see the result now. Now let's go over this other sentence. I have been decorating the house this summer. The focus is on the action, decorating, and the action is unfinished. In other words, we can say that we use the present perfect continuous when the focus is on activity that is unfinished. Let's see more examples and analyze them with me. I read the book you lent me. I finished it yesterday. The present perfect I read gives the idea of completion. I've been reading the book you lent me. I've got another 50 pages to read. The present perfect continuous I've been reading suggests that something is unfinished. She's been writing emails for three hours. The present perfect continuous has been writing talks about how long something has been happening. She has written 10 messages. The present perfect has written talks about how much or how many have been completed. I've worked here for 30 years. We can use the present perfect to talk about how long when we view something as permanent. I usually work in LA, but I've been working in San Francisco for the last three weeks. The present perfect continues is often used to show that something is temporary. Can you tell the difference now? Did you understand it? To make sure you did, type on our discussion box some examples using both tenses. Is the following question the Okay, so I'll make it easier. Present perfect continuous is an action that started in the past in, in continuous action and is still happening in continuous action. Like for example, um, when you have a baby, remember babies sleep, that's all they do, they just sleep. Hmm. So then when I, when, you know, and I go, hey, how's the baby? And you say, he has been sleeping for three hours. Mm -hmm. Continue sleeping. Yes, so he started sleeping three hours ago and he's still sleeping three hours ago. Mm -hmm. So the action's still in progress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, you understand that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. I have been. Um, I have been staying in quarantine for ten days. or I have been staying in quarantine for five days. But that means that the action is not finished, it's still active. Okay. Mm Teacher, I complete the, the last one, number two. This one, 2.5. Uh, the last one that we did, and when we have problem with, with went, the oh, last yeah, exercise it went that off. We were doing. Went off, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. went off, has stolen, Rushed, were, set, have called, have left, okay. has offered. Has offered. So here it says complete the sentences with the present perfect or present perfect continuous form of the verb in parentheses. Just type the conjugated verb in the right tense. No capital letter or periods are needed. 
many residents blank homeless ever since last month's storm. Uh, many residents have Hi. been. All right, have been. They blank with the with relatives while their homes are being repaired. They have they have they have, have they been, been staying. staying. Yes. All right. Oh, nice. Next it says although crews the subway signals all week. Although rules has be has been repaired. Cruise is plural, so all those crews have been repairing. Uh, have been repairing all week. Uh, yes, have been continue. The sub okay. the subway signals all week. Number four, they still not solve the problems with long delays. Have not. They have have not been solving. No, in this case, I would say they still have not solved the problems with long delays. Ah, ah solved. With long delays. Number five says police, the store that the thieves have not robbed yet. Police um. has been guarding. Police has. Police they have still. been. Oops. They still. They at the beer. But is an action that continue. They still have not. Yeah, so that means they, that from the past until now, they have not solved the problem. Mm -hmm. Police. Uh, okay, Anderson. Okay. I'm sorry, what did we say number five was? Police has a war. Uh, have been guarding. Have been guarding. Have been. And number six, it says workers plow the roads all night, but some snow remains. Teacher, what is plow? I was going to ask you that. What is plow? Is uh, just to repair. Um, it's the same to repair. Plow. Or cleaning. Uh -huh. uh, in snow? Yes. Um. Let me see, how can I explain that to you? Uh, like a, now, like now a what touch. happens is that when it snows very much, the snow covers the street. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, now is, have you seen those trucks that in front they have like a pala, like a big mm -hmm. pala? Shovel, shovel. Like a shovel, yes. So that's what plow is when you start cleaning that snow with opening the street. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's called plow. So workers have been plowing the roads all night, but yeah. some snow remains. Have, have been plowing? Mm -hmm. uh, have been plowing. Been flowing. All right, let me see which ones we got wrong. Have mm -hmm. not. Mm 
they miss the verb, the not so solved. They still have not solved. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we got it there. <laughs> All right, good. Now let's practice a little ourselves using present perfect. Uh, let me see. Guillermo, are you married? Yes, sir. All right. How long have you been married? Answer complete, please. I have been married for 10 years, almost 10 years, I think. For 10 years. Wow. Nice. Yeah, 10 years wow. of suffering. <laughs> that's, that's good. No, no, because... no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 10 years of suffering. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> slave. Your, your wife. Your wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I don't think you will get divorced. Mm. I no. think if you, I think if you pass ten years, yeah, probably. Yes, yeah, if you pass the ten years, you're, you're sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you have two children, correct, Guillermo? No, no, I have not children. You don't no. have children. No, no, no. Actually, oh. since we got married, we talked about that and we decided uh, we don't, know, mm -hmm. don't want to have any children. Um, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Well, Isn't that changes decision? everything. Uh, some people think that it's weird, but I don't know. It's just uh, our decision, I mean. No, no, I understand. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So you have been married 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. 10 years. All right. Uh, Laura, are you married? Um, no. No, no, you're not married. Do you have a boyfriend? No. All right. How long have you been single? Um, I have been single my whole life. <laughs> really? Wow. <Yeah. laughs> so you have been happy your whole life. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Kelly, you work in um in a textile company too, right? No. No, I I I work in a in a mall. Oh yes, you work in a mall. Which yeah. mall do you work in? Actually you mentioned uh, um a few minutes ago. Because I, oh. I work in El Encuentro, San Marcos. That's where you work. Yeah. Oh, that's why. And you have never eaten chuco there? No, I haven't never eaten. Oh. <laughs> Go tomorrow. Yeah, I have to try it. But yeah, get maybe... some for us, please. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. I'll, I'll give you exactly where, where the lady is. So in that mall, there's an underground parking, correct? Yeah. The exit in that underground parking, is it open? Yes, it's open now. Okay, okay. There's an exit that is that street that comes from the Maquilas, correct? Sure. In that, in, in, it's, the lady is in front of that, of that parking lot. Of that exit. Um, yeah. Maybe is uh next to the la casa de repuesto. Yes. I, yes. But it's in front of the parking lot of, of El Encuentro. Yeah. Maybe oh. the next time I'm gonna <laughs> you yeah. need to try. <laughs> I need to try, but if you like chuco, that's the best chuco you will taste. Oh, well, right. really, uh, I like that, uh, but a little bit. But my mother, yeah, she loves chuco. Oh, the taker. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy for her. Yeah, take her some. Wow, so you 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 work in San Marcos and you live in the in the Mirabai. Mirabai. Yes. You have all the traffic. Yeah, I have to yes. cross 
de hermano lejano en, en de Navarra um, Ranch. Yeah. So, I, I, live, I live by the Navarra. Yeah, it's so complicated, the traffic in the morning and the afternoon too. But I try to travel around 8 p.m., for example, when I come back to home. Oh, you come back at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. because if I come back uh, before, I have a problem with the traffic. So oh, yes. it's the yeah, same yeah. to travel. Yeah. Like a two hour yes. traffic. And I remember, I remember one thing I really, really hate about La Miramonte and that zone. I hate that Sisi Mila Street. Oh man, that's so horrible. Mm -hmm. The traffic. Yeah. Terrible traffic. Yes, I, I remember. That's only the bad thing, but the rest is cool. Richard, uh, do you live uh, next to the Hawar? Yes. How do you say Paso? A, Paso. Well, you know, nombres propios quedan así, Paso del Jaguar. Okay. Paso del Jaguar, okay. El, pero es redondel, so it's circle, or roundabout. Traffic circle. Okay. Yeah, I live there. Okay. Well, every night, no, maybe like four nights a week, we hear those stupid people that they like to race cars. I mean, I have a here now. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, oh man, that's so terrible. It's so terrible. Mm -hmm. You know, you can hear it like, but that, that's, that's been happening forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's, that's, the, that's where you work then. In el encuentro. Nice. Okay, yeah. what about you, Sarai? Are you married? Sorry. I I was married. Uh, oh, so you're single. I, this moment you're single. Yes. Right. I I recently got divorced. Oh, okay. I was married during uh, 17 years. Oh, okay. There is, I was married for 17 years. For 17 years. Yes, sorry. Wow, for 17, 17 years. 17 years. Mm. Yes. In this moment, in this I moment, seven I, years. Uh, I said half seven years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In this moment, I, I live with my children. Mm -hmm. I have four, four children. Uh, mm -hmm. Children. 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 Yes. children is plural. You don't have to say the S. Yes. Wow, four children. Are they boys or girls or mixed? Mixed. I have a... Um, Three, three girls and one boy. And the boy is the smallest or the is the oldest or the youngest? The youngest. So he the, have uh, he have three years. He old. is three. Yes. Oh, three he's, and he's the, the baby. He, yes, my I have uh, twins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, twins. Uh, are your girls happy with with their brother? Yes. Yeah. How do you say consentido? <laughs> they pamper him. Pamper him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and you my two older my older uh, daughter have uh, uh, 17, 17 years. She is seventeen. Yes. Oh, she's a young lady. Yes. So next year she will vote. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry? She would vote. In one year she will vote. Yes. Oh nice. Hey, that's good though, but you, you are with your you are with your children and you have your your boy. 
Okay, so, so you have you were married for 17 years. Yes. Okay, nice. All right, and th the reason why I'm asking you that is because that's a perfect example of present perfect. You know, I have been married, I have been single, I have been, yes. Um, now let's ask questions with, have you ever? Have you ever? Have you, have you ever? That means that you have done that and the time is not important. Guillermo, where do you live? I live in Ciudad Merliot. Ciudad Merliot. Have, yeah. you, have you ever eaten in Mike's Burger? Oh yeah, I have. Yeah, I haven't eaten there before like two or three times. It's good, huh? Yeah, it's it's very good actually. It's very good. 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 Laura, where do you live? In Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Have you ever man? I, I don't know Sonsonate, so no, but you study in, in the Nacional here, right? Yes. Have you ever eaten Chori's dogs? Chori's, oh yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't eaten. They're amazing. Chori's. Come on, why not? <laughs> what? You, you have never eaten Chori's hot dogs? No, no way. I haven't. <laughs> and the reason why I say that because the originals, I think they started in the Nacional. Yeah, they started there. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. Also, oh. tortas locas. No. I usually eat tortas locas there. La Nacional? Yes, I study in the, the Universidad Nacional. Oh, I, I remember that there used to be a good tortas locas by La Tecnológica. Um, and yeah. they were very good. El Chino. El Chino. Yeah. Yanira, where do you live? Oh, well, in San Marcos, right? What? You you live in some you, you are in San Marcos in this moment, right? Yes. Have you ever eaten Mexican food, but it's not in San Marcos, it's in a gas station by San Jacinto? No, I, I don't know many places here because as I said you I fear go out. <laughs> yes, it's true. But you know San Jacinto, right? No, I don't know. It's it's right next to San Marcos. And uh, it, there is a gas station and there's a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant. Mm. It's very good, man. It's very good. I only know I only know that Zoologic is in San Jacinto. It's only one that I know. The zoo. Oh, Torta del Chowi. Oh, Chowi. Yeah. They are also next to the Torre Telefonica as well. They have a another point there. Mm. Yeah. The Chowi? Yeah, next oh. to there's a there are some small uh, restaurants yeah, next to the Mr. Donut. Yeah, there uh -huh. are like three or four restaurants there. Mm -hmm. One of them is the show. It's the same owner, or maybe yeah. Copy. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Nice. Very hey, interesting. Have you ever eaten tortas at Chowi class? They're good. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but uh, Laura, you have to eat choris. You you have to. definitely. <laughs> you cannot say you cannot say you go to La Nacional and you have never eaten choris. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> yes. Okay, class. Then thank you very much. Okay, you have a very good Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank, thank you very you much, teacher. Tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. <laughs>